NVIDIA's rally is far from over and same goes for volatility. Let's get into it. Welcome back, guys. NVIDIA has once again outperformed expectations, marking their fifth consecutive beat and raise quarter. They tripled revenue in Q1 and are forecasting another strong quarter ahead. So truly significant movement happening here, guys. Tell us a little bit more about what you're seeing with this. What I'm seeing is that uh, despite all the hype in the AI, uh, the market has still underestimated it. Um, the, the surge in growth, the amount of outperformance, the guidance just says that this thing is bigger than we thought in our wildest dreams. It's still accelerating. So I think that this story still has legs. Want to keep your finger on the pulse of the market? Text the word YouTube to 68285. That's 68285. And get free breaking news alerts from MarketBeat for the stocks that matter most to you. Don't miss out on crucial updates. Stay informed and stay ahead. I don't know if I believe that the market underestimated NVIDIA. I'm more of the... I think the, the market was trying to tamper their own enthusiasm so that they so that Nvidia stock had room to run when this report came out because I don't think anybody really expected them to not do what they did last night. That mm -hmm. seems to me to be a little bit weird. I mean, everybody yeah. go ahead, Thomas. Well, they they beat by almost 600 basis points yeah. and the guidance is also about that same amount above consensus. All the analysts have been raising their estimates for the last five quarters i, I mean yeah this is this is a significant amount of outperformance okay now i have seen some jokes going around social media i'm sure you guys have too reddit all the things um about how nvidia is carrying the economy on its shoulders but is it really a joke guys i mean i don't know things are getting a little serious um, NVIDIA's data center revenue jumped 427% to $22.6 billion. Can this growth be sustained, do you think, or will competition from in-house AI chips um, that we're seeing from tech giants like Amazon and Google maybe pose a significant threat to them? Yeah, there's like five questions in there. <laughs> um, right. So can the growth be sustained? Probably not. This is wicked growth. It's blossoming. It will top out. Uh, we're all already seeing that in the guidance, the growth is slowing, yeah. still way significant, way more than expected, but slowing. And so that's going to be a bit of a headwind for the market. It's going to keep the analysts from really rushing ahead and raising their price targets to really extraordinary levels. But like Jensen Huang said last year, I mean, the data center industry is worth a trillion dollars. It's growing at a 10% CAGR. But also there's this revolution where all the old data centers are being upgraded to this new technology. So this is a dual tailwind for the business. I think that it's going to sustain the operations for a while. And mm -hmm. as far as other chip companies go, I don't know what Chris thinks about this. The opportunity for them was to gain share from NVIDIA because they've also got AI chips. Mm -hmm. Their businesses are also booming. But because NVIDIA is such the dominant player and its business is growing so quickly, I would assume that it has gained market share from the 80% it was running in data center. And now it's probably pushing like 90, 95%. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back to the first question you asked Lacey. And that is, you know, is NVIDIA propping up the entire economy? I don't know if it's propping up the entire economy. I think it's safe to say it's propping up the market right now. Uh, because, you know, the market turned around as soon as that the NVIDIA results came out. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next day or so to see if it, you know, if this is the start of a new rally or if it's just going to be confined to NVIDIA. But I think we can safely say maybe NVIDIA is taking the crown where people used to say, as Apple goes, so goes the market. I think it might be as NVIDIA goes, so goes the market. Mm -hmm. And to Thomas's point, I do think that there's going to be these other players trying to go after market share. But I think right now it's going to have to be more of a niche type thing, like what you're seeing with Qualcomm trying to get in and do the chips for, you know, specific applications as opposed to maybe it's going to be, I think, harder to get in in, in a broader sense because NVIDIA has got that market pretty much covered. Right. Just to the, to the idea of NVIDIA carrying the economy, you got to think that NVIDIA's results have trumped the yeah. FOMC. The FOMC is saying that they're not on track to cut rates the way the market thinks that, that, that it is. That right. to me is a is a brick ceiling for the market, and yet it's going to keep rising because Nvidia is trumping it. Nvidia is certainly carrying the tech sector, and along with it, the broader market. 
Well, right. I mean, NVIDIA is going where NVIDIA is right where this whole transformation is happening in the economy with AI and NVIDIA is at the tip of that. And that's that's something that, like you're saying, they're ahead of the FOMC. And they just, you know, the FOMC is trying to digest all that and NVIDIA is just out in front of it. Go ahead and comment down below, guys, what you think about NVIDIA and the economy and all of this. We want to hear from you. But let's continue on here. NVIDIA announced a 10 to 1 stock split, making shares a bit more accessible. So is it a good time to jump in? Um, of course, there's volatility here as we know it. Uh, how is this going to impact the stock in the near future, though? Because, I mean, the stock is up 900% in the last 18 months. So this might provide an, an attractive profit for early investors, right? Right. I see the stock split inducing volatility. It's going to lower the share price. It's going to make it more accessible. People are going to want to get in. I'm thinking about getting in after the split. But I also think the split's going to cause um, a lot of volatility. There's probably going to be a sell-off before or after. And I would wait for one of those significant dips to get in. I'm not going to chase this one higher right now. Yeah, I think this, uh, the stock split, we've talked about this before, Lacey. I mean, these generally are, they shouldn't be as big of a deal as they are, but they are a big deal. I think it's especially a big deal if you're probably an employee of NVIDIA and you're looking to buy the shares of the stock. Instead of buying maybe fractional shares, you can actually buy whole shares now. So I think that's a, it's good news. I agree with Thomas. I'm When I heard about the stock split yesterday, I thought about, okay, huh, maybe I'm going to buy NVIDIA after the stocks, but right now, uh, I'm probably not going to chase it at at one thousand dollars right now. But certainly, it's going to look a lot more attractive at the split adjusted price. Right, the, the split is it's a sentiment factor. It's not yeah. a fundamental factor, so it's going to affect what people think, right. but not the value of the company. Now, NVIDIA's gaming segment, once their biggest revenue source, now seems to be minor compared to their data center sales. Uh, do you think NVIDIA's focus will continue to shift here, or is there still significant growth potential in their gaming sector? Right. So I yeah. think NVIDIA's focus has shifted to AI. It's a full-blown AI company now, full stack. It's not just chips. It's the entire infrastructure of AI from building out its own AI networks and providing services to other companies. Uh, gaming is going to be part of that. Gaming is going to benefit from AI. Right now, gaming is like a really itty-bitty part of their revenue compared to data center. But I would imagine data center will eventually peak and top out. Right. And then we'll start seeing growth in all these ancillary segments after the AI infrastructure is built. And that will include um, the games and we'll have edge computing, edge AI embedded in the games. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's just, a, that's another future growth avenue to help sustain NVIDIA over time, I think. Tired of guessing which stocks to ditch? MarketBeat's exclusive report, 20 Stocks to Sell Now, cuts through the noise. Uncover the truth behind Wall Street's ratings as our list is curated from the stocks that top analysts consistently rate as hold or sell. Don't let your portfolio suffer. These 20 companies have been red flagged for a reason, so act now and safeguard your investments. This report is free, but only available for a limited time, so download today. What else should we be looking at as we watch NVIDIA in the coming months, guys? Right. I'm going to be looking at ex expanding partnerships. And just to point out one that was announced last night, Snowflake, uh, it's already built most of its technology on NVIDIA chips, but it's hinting at expanding collaborations driven by AI demand. And that plays into NVIDIA's focus, refocus to a full stack AI company. Uh, now that they're selling the chips, they're going to start doing more and more services. And so that's what I'll be watching for. Mm -hmm. Well, that wraps it up for our update on NVIDIA today. Be sure to check out MarketBeat for the latest tools and resources to follow along with NVIDIA and all of the other stocks that matter most to you. Our platform does make it easy. And of course, we are here to help. Thanks, guys. We'll talk soon.